So, my dear Libra, the sun now is in Cancer, giving the light to the moon, which is in your sign. We're going to the left. To the left is to the new moon, and the new moon is sun and new moon, both in your sign, in your month, and so you're coming home. You're coming home in the light, you're coming home in the dark, and you understand why there is like a black and white floor. There is a pillar that is dark and a pillar that is light. You're sitting right in between near the 11th major arcana. As such, immediately you have a portal. But the sun as a light beacon, as a beacon of love, the seven, the seventh chakra, it's almost like it's a day, the 7th of November or the 11th of July. Right, so observe what the numbers talk to you, what they're telling you. If I calculate it together, the 11 plus the 7 is the 18, and the 18 is the subconscious. In your subconscious, you feel there needs to be more love in the way we execute justice, right? And of course, love is something that a lot of people feel not quite understood in and so i will take from now on the word love away because for some people love is too abstract because they never got love what i will replace it from now on is to feel authentic now observe what that does to you to feel authentic and it's a research that they have done about all the feelings that we feel to see which one is the strongest feeling. And everybody thought love is the strongest feeling there is. And it wasn't. And it wasn't hate or anger. It was to be authentic, to be able to be who you are, even in also sometimes the negative expression that we might have. To be authentic means I can show who I truly am in the light and in the dark. And that was really interesting for me to understand that to be authentic is for me love, right? And so understand when you wear a crown, you're authentic. You are the leader, you are the one that works here with the Holy Grail. So the Toth Tarot and the Golden Dawn Tarot, right? Um, just that you understand, there are two schools. They shifted some of the major arcanas and these are opposite schools to each other. Alistair Crowley, right? And then here the Golden Dawn Tarot that I gave to you. Now, here, like I said, the 18 is the subconscious, is the moon, and the moon is in your sign. So you feel things from deep, deep down, changing and shifting you. Calculated together, we get the nine, and the nine is the hermit, is that I have arrived. But you are the 11. You are here the inner wisdom that you're using to be able to discern, right? The fact that you are justice that you are coming into an absolute center of the two scales and remember absolute stillness is death so there's never really a stillness there's always an inhale and an exhale there's a small little balancing out even though it seems like completely still it's not and this is what i want you to understand right so this is what's happening today, right? Sun in Cancer, Moon in your sign. And of course, this moment exists only once a year. And if we include all the other planets, then of course, this moment exists only once in your life. So Cancer is ruled by the Moon. Just understand that the Moon rules Cancer and the Moon is in your sign. So you're going to feel here the success in being authentic you're going to feel that very strong. Then you are ruled by Venus. And Venus in the Tarot is the Empress. And also Taurus is ruled by Venus. So there are three cards, right? It's the Empress, it's the Hierophant, and it's Libra that is ruled by Venus. So we're going to look 
at the Empress, just that you know. And the moon, I use the High Priestess, right? Because the High Priestess has no other zodiac sign in there, and the High Priestess, we're going to look at that as well. So, understand what's happening the sun right is our outer perspective our personality how we're gonna radiate now the love out into the world the sun will bring that to us because cancer is the one that takes care of the family it's a very loving energy that you really feel at home with right and so here in your deck the chariot looks like this and you see that every deck creates a different energy field in Cancer. So I just want you to see it. In the yoga position for Cancer, we are becoming ourselves the horse power, the Ashwa Sanchalan Asana here, right? We push ourselves forward into becoming authentic. And then you, for you, I gave you here standing on your tiptoes, balancing yourself in this beautiful, elegant position, hands in namaste in front, the sword pointing at the third eye, the yin and yang symbol, the two pillars of the moon faces, the sun. You see here the people and this great energy is up in the sky because here behind her is the wheel of fortune, which is Jupiter, the wheel of fortune, the number 10 in your card, right? The 10 and the one is the magician. So the magician in the Tarot is um, Mercury, and Mercury brings the information. So just this all for explaining what's happening up in the sky right now while I'm doing the reading. You are the Queen of Swords in this deck, and you can see that you quite intense with the way you cutting off heads. It's your mental ability to really create a strong understanding of like take your ego off, right? You are the seventh zodiac sign and as such you are connected to the seventh house of love and relationship. So very important that you understand that, the number seven. And of course, as Libra, you are the one that loves beautiful things, the beauty in life, right? You are the one that creates the most magnificent homes. And as such, you are quite fierce in how you actually want things to look like. So be careful, right? You're not doing too much. Um, the dates here for the Queen of Swords is your birthday between September 12th and October 12th. Then is she your court card. If your birthday is before, you might want to look into Virgo reading because the court card there is the Knight of Pentacles. If your birthday is after, you might want to look into the King of Cups. Uh, and just that you understand it's a little different than the birthday right or where the sun is right now the sun is in cancer and it's a very specific time period where the sun is in cancer and then it's going to move into leo so where's the sun but where is your court card the court card is divided a little bit different now back to the last reading, right? You had Gemini Sun uh, giving Libra Moon the light. And we see here in the arrow that it's going to the left. And the message was to enjoy the simple activities in life can be quite satisfying. And yeah, we see that sometimes we overlook simple things, right? Very simple things, right? Um, the inhale, exhale, right? Something that is happening by itself. And so coming back to that, coming back to the understanding that sometimes we just need to ground ourselves through the breath and arrive here. And particularly when we get too much into uh, the thinking aspect, and you are, since you are a Libra, an air sign but because you are queen you're air and water and so the emotions right um, in most decks is 
from your hips on the emotional aspect and from the upper part the air aspect and so you are sometimes a little bit split between a, a feminine energy and a, a masculine energy it's very interesting right because you have both you have through water that's feminine and air is masculine and so we start with the queen of swords and you get the prince of cups coming here and the Prince of Cups is Pisces. And Pisces is the one that is fire and water. Because as a knight he's fire, but as an element he's water. And so you see here this bird. And he is looking over to the right, but his physical body is going to the left. And now what's really interesting, she also is looking to the left and in that when we look at the card we see that she's looking to the left but when i become the card and i look down i see that she's looking to the right so very important that you understand that that you understand there is always duality an inhale and an exhale in the card and so he is looking over to the right, but at the end, when you become this, you are actually bringing this love deeper within to you. He is the 12th zodiac sign and the 7, the 12th and the 7 is the 19. So the sun is bringing you very clearly here through cancer, more of an authentic beingness in the way you feel with yourself, in the way you feel with others. And so it's very interesting, right? So the 19, the 10, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Everything is constantly moving and changing and spinning. And of course, we also have the 9, the Hermit. And the Hermit, again, is the reading before you. So maybe you have a little bit of the Hermit in your chart, right? It's important that you make a chart, a birth chart, so you know actually which constellation are already um, connected to the tarot there are a specific constellation that are in the tarot and I always add that to the reading and so sometimes it's important that we understand that the tarot is astrologically based so the 19 calculates together is the 10 and the 10 is the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is Jupiter and the wheel of fortune I put into the painting which is behind you it's almost like there is a portal there is an opening and yes it is a portal right the 11 the two pillars the 11 and here's that zero here is that I can enter uh, another dimension because the portal here as well we see it's like that's where I get the stream of consciousness from and so I can also of course calculate here the 12 into a 3 the 3 and the 7 is the 10 right and the 10 the wheel of fortune act act out the love that you have now understood deep within you and you see that from your hips down it's the water aspect and here down comes pisces right take that path actively out to the people and so the 10 is giving you here a new cycle, a new awareness. Then comes here through the High Priestess, the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is Sun in Scorpio. So it's really interesting, right, that um, the King of Cups, which comes after you, is here connected with Scorpio. And so there is a remembrance, there is a feeling of back then there was something. The six is of course connected with the lovers, the self-love. The six and the two now with the high priestess is an eight. And the eight brings you into the infinity of the world, of, of the universe. And so understand that intuition is infinitely flowing for you. And Pisces and Scorpio, two water signs, are now bringing you with um, cancer quite a big emotional release, an emotional satisfaction, something, right? Because, I mean, she's the queen, this is the knight, 
and here comes the king right of cups so all of them are here so it's quite emotional what's going on here now i wanted to see what is bringing you the mother piece tarot and it's the shaman of swords to the left and the shaman of swords to the left is saying this is um aquarius and aquarius is the king of swords you are the queen of swords and he is or she is the 11th zodiac sign so to the left it's almost saying remember back then where you had those kind of thoughts don't kind those kind of inspirations and so the 11 and the 6 would be the 17 which is aquarius the star right and the 11 and the 8 is actually then again a 19 and so the 19 here very clear you understand more and more that you need to learn something you need to understand something emotionally you you need to understand something in your intuition you need to trust whatever information comes that you act upon because you know from the past that the message was quite clear now what comes here from the golden dawn from your deck it's the two of swords and the two of swords is moon in libra that's it moon in libra through the high priest this is letting you know once you come into this like right left thinking black white thinking you start realizing you gotta trust something much much deeper not your mind right but the two of swords it's kind of like a peacefulness here that you see that here the shaman of swords is pointing at this is pointing at the two and so with the high priestess you're getting a two two portal and the 22 is the fool and the fool is ruled by uranus and uranus is basically ruling aquarius right and so there is something that is letting you know the future holds quite something here because this is the 22 and this here the 11 and the 6 is the 17 and the 8 is left so the 22nd of august could be a date here that is telling you there something is gonna happen something important in your intuition is gonna happen right and so this is the message from the high priestess then we look into the empress the empress is bringing you the magician and so he is um, going directly to the magician and the magician is mercury and mercury is bringing you the information you have all the four tools you have the infinite symbol here in his head and the number one is clearly letting you know that the empress is the three the three and the one is the four then you can rule then you can really put things out there give birth to new ideas right emotionally you supported by a pisces by a knight who brings you the power right he brings you the power of the 10 which is the wheel of fortune and the power of the intuition which is the high priestess the 12 zodiac sign and then the three here calculated together so in a way this is a three three over to the empress and what's really important is that you understand the one and only decision sometimes that we have to take no matter in your emotions no matter in your actions no matter in the way you think and no matter in the way you handle the money then comes the mother piece tarot and we get the magician again to the right and it's very interesting it's like here the magician is saying well have a look he is leaning over to the left right but if i become the magician he's leaning over to the right and he because he came up like this because they're around so it's very specific uh, the meaning but it's upright slightly over to the right but when i become him i look over he is leaning to the left so it's kind of like saying well that's the movement of the scale 
inhale, exhale, slightly the scale is moving. Slightly we are going from right to left or forward and backwards, right? A lot of religions create a trance-like energy in us so that we can feel that we are actually moving beings because the moment we are dying the body doesn't move anymore that's death right and so you have a one one so there is an 11 and the 11 is saying well this is you you are now becoming a magician you are now having here the 11 the 11 plus the three the third of november or the 11th of march as a date right just remember then I wanted to see what is Toth Tarot bringing, and it's the Four of Wands, which is Venus in Aries. Venus, again, is the Empress, right? And so here I'm going to put the Empress above, because Venus in Aries is like, I'm going to take action. It's the Four of Wands. The Four and the Three is the Seven. So here this makes the Chariot. This makes the authentic part in you is showing that you can lead and you can celebrate you can understand the high time and out of the high time becomes the marriage right and so here we have the four and here the 11th now the date changes the 11th of april or the 4th of november as a day so just have a look right how that works for you but see the power here, right? He holds the wand, he holds the wand, and here are four wands, and she holds a wand, right? So it's kind of like there is an action wanted from you to create something new and just trust that process. Then we look into the moon. The moon is bringing you the oracle here, the empty well with the 16 and the empty well is interesting because it seems like there's no water but the deeper you go the more you're going to reach a new well and so the 16 in the tarot is mars and mars right is intense mars rules aries which came here with the four of wands but that's venus in aries and so here the 18 is the 9 and the 16 is the 7. Use your authentic side, use your emotional intelligence to go deeper into the well, because in a way that's what the 7 does. The 16 turns into a 7, right? The 10, the wheel of fortune, and the 6, the lovers. And the 6 of cups was kind of this like, remember that you have gotten yourself always to a new well where you can start new things and so the nine gives itself up and the seven stays and the seven again the crown chakra again cancer is bringing you have a look because that's the moon that's the subconscious in your subconscious something you feel is empty but you need to go deeper and you need to really learn more all about energy how you replenish yourself right because if you go deeper there is water you just kind of like gotten to a certain point and you think well i don't need to go further and deeper it's like eh, i did my work but you didn't because here comes as an explanation the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is mars in capricorn as the constellation here right and mars is taking action mars again is aries and it's like the 16 is mars it's the tower something is ending and something is not being able to be built so the seven and the three is the ten and the ten again is that here you had the seven and the three right which is the ten the ten is a new beginning begin you to see deep 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 down you know there is something that you want to bring to the world. You want to build something. You think it's just not good enough and you cannot do it alone. You need to do it with others because that's what the three is. The three is the triangle. You see these three coins? One eye, the other eye and the third eye. And here is 
the triangle that you need to use to see that it's possible to build. You just need to go deeper and that's why it's reverse. You need to go down, you need to dig, you need to like go there. So the seven and the three, the ten, right? But what is your deck saying? Here comes the world, the universe. Look at this. This is beautiful. So the 21 turns into a three. The 20 is the last judgment, right? Is an ending because the last judgment in the tarot is Pluto. And the one, the magician. The magician you got twice, right? And the magician really like was like, yes, you can do this, right? You got it here. You got really mercury letting you know hey you can do this and it's really interesting because this is a three and this is a three this is the 12 and here's the 21 the reversal right and the three and the three if you understand the 21 right as a number there's the 20 there's pluto pluto is gonna be in aquarius and aquarius came as the shaman of winds and you need to understand, right, that something here is clearly letting you know you need to get into the 33, because the 33 is, through the secret brotherhood, the degree of mastery in the tarot, in understanding the secrets of the universe. And here it is. The fixed signs are here, right? Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And so Aquarius is coming again. So the 33 here, right? And again, remember, we have the moon, but the nine gives itself up. So I'm not going to calculate it together. We have here the 10. The 10 and the 3 is the 13. There has to be a big transformation in your life because the 13 and the Toro is the death card. And I don't take death lightly anymore because I used to be like, oh, it's just a transformation. And I'm like, no. It's death. It's really, it's, that's it. Because I did for one week have uh, Scorpio coming up all the time. And I was like, what's going on? And then I heard that someone died that I knew. And I was like, oh my God, this is really a sign, right? And so when the 13 comes, I always understand right away. It's like the 10, the Wheel of Fortune, and the 3, the Empress, is wanting to bring something new in this world. And that's what the Empress does. The Empress is giving birth to new souls, to new spirits that want to come here into this world and others need to go. That's it. There's just a transformation. And so, of course, we have here the 33 and the 7, right? But the 6 and the 7, again, is the 13. The 13 is the 4. The 4 is the emperor. You can rule, you can do this, just understand. But we have a three, three, three here. Three times the three, right? So understand and see. And just become observant. That's what's so cool about the Torah. It's not like it's reading the future. You're becoming more aware of how things are talking. Then comes here through the sun, the south. Now the south is the snake in... Alberto Villoldo's medicine wheel. And through the south, we enter the um, medicine wheel. And the south is below here, right? And so here you see the number two coming. We had the two here through the two of swords, right? And we had, of course, with the high priestess, the 22, so now you have three times the two. And it's important for you to understand that this is the snake. This is the first chakra, and that's why there is a red umbrella here. And we see someone is actually in space. And so the south is saying, what do you want? What is it that you want? And here we see the sun, the 19 is the 10, the 10 and the 2 is the 12. What do you want? Where do you want to fly at? Because he is going into this card. And so the, the three is left here, right? As an uh, understanding that you want to create something. Then 
what comes as an explanation is to the left the last judgment and the 20 Pluto is coming and showing you you need to let go because that's what happens when you go to the new moon to the left to the left is intuitive is letting go to the right is logical is filling up and so the 20 is showing you that here with the 20 and the 2 you get the 22 again the fool is bringing you that foolish idea and so the 22 right that came here with the two of swords which is moon in libra it's your constellation right now you need to find the peacefulness here so observe watch look the 22 right plus the 10 with here the sun is the 32 and the 32 becomes a 5 but the 22 i leave right the 22 is for me it's important uh to to, to keep a portal a portal is always like twice a number three times a number four times the same number it's like it's it's speaking and so what is coming here through the toss tarot through alistair crawley it's the princess of pentacles and that's all three earth sign which is taurus virgo and capricorn and so you need to really understand the young generation because it's the young generation it's the three the 22 the three and the 10 is actually the 13 a transformation in the way you see in the way you begin your new endeavor in the way you begin something completely crazy let go see the ankh the ankh is venus is the empress right the ankh it's venus is empress and the empress is is bringing you the 11 the empress is bringing you twice the magician and a high time in the way you do things so you need to realize that the 13 then turns into a 4. The 22nd of April, something happened there, right? So as a date you have here. But you see very clearly that you getting from the sun, because the sun is in cancer, the emotional intelligence, the authenticity to really take now the love that you feel that you accumulated in you that you authentically live you need to bring that further into the world but bring it into your world into your inner world so that you can live it from the within to the without because this is what this card does right he goes within but when i become it he goes out and he brings the love that he has found deep within him in duality because you see the duality the yin and yang symbol here through the earth and the water you see that and so the three earth signs are here to help you with that because they ground you Taurus right and Taurus is here and of course Virgo Virgo is not here but the nine came up and Capricorn right Capricorn is the 15 sometimes we get attached to certain things but the young generation will lead you the way right and so the four and the 22 here is the end of the reading understand that you are really learning really learning to trust that any direction now right north east south west right that we're learning to create this circle and we always begin when we begin here in the south we enter the wheel here and then we go over here then we go here and here's the end here's the ego and that's the one right that's then the one and only that's the magician and you understand now that the message is very clear dare to bring the love to the people the way you love yourself I hope I see you in the next reading. That's when we get Sun in Leo. Leo is taking action. Leo is also here 
the wands that wheel that is spinning the energy of a completion you doing something that needs to 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 come to an end until then i thank you so much for being with me namaste